morning beautiful people. It is vlogmas day four. It is the 4th of December 2021 and it's a Saturday. Happy weekend everybody. So Rich is already off at work. He was at work at seven o'clock this morning. He's on a 12 hour shift so unlikely to see him in this vlog. Means I get to do all the advents today though. And yesterday we realised we never opened our freebie cheap Castle Green, the super uber exciting Castle Green advent calendar. So today I get to do that twice. Also, thank you to Paul, who has suggested that this is a fireplace. Um, any other suggestions, please let us know. But thanks very much for that, Paul. I will go with it as a fireplace for the minute. So let's open Harry Potter day four. Oh, Castle Green's going to attack me. Uh, you go over there. Get you in a second. Day four. Okay. Oh, and it looks like we've got some post and a wreath to build. Looking at that, oh, I can get it out of the pot. Come on. Oh. So yeah, lots of little bits in that one. Cool. Stand up, Harry, you drunkard. Awesome. Now on to this one. Number four, number four, number four. Down the bottom there. You're right, Tonks, you help him. You want your advent calendar, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I know you do. We had to move the cat's advent calendars from here because this one... Yes, you, yes, you, was um, trying to get them down off the shelf and uh, just eat all of them. So, yeah, we didn't want that. Oh, what is this? I have a task today. Oh, something to do on my own, probably. Sad times. Coin for me, and Richard has a refresher that is stuck in the box. There we go. Refresher! All right, let's... Uh, open the other advent calendar and then we'll check to see what that is. I'm going to have to turn the camera off while I try and find the chocolates on this because it's I, I, it's stupid. Whoever designed this advent calendar, stupid. So there we go. Not even sure if I've opened the right ones. I've just opened two doors. I think they're the right ones. We've got what looks like a gingerbread man and another star. <laughs> Breakfast for me. Okay, so today's little advent calendar task says do some Christmas crafts. Right. <laughs> so what time are we on? Oh my goodness, it's already like 20 past 11. I got up really late this morning, but I had a really good night's sleep. So I have got some crafty bits to do. I might not do them all today because this afternoon I do want to go out because uh, apparently there's like a Christmas train parade. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Uh, down in here, I did know. So I do want to kind of go and check that out. It might be really naff. It might be awesome. I don't know, but I want to go see it. So I've got a couple of crafty bits I can maybe make a start on today or some bits that I've been working on that I can finish. So yeah, I'm going to have a coffee though, I think, before I do anything else. I'm going to have a coffee and then decide what crafty stuff I want to be doing. So today's coffee of choice is an espresso gingerbread. It's one of their Christmas specials. Uh, I think they might already have sold out, actually. I wish I'd got more. I did try to get more, but then they sold out because it's really, really good. Uh, this is our Nespresso collection. We've got another box up on the top there full of Nespresso coffees. Uh, we have quite a lot. Um, but, yeah, we love Nespresso coffee. And look at all my pumpkin spices. I've got loads. I stock up on them every year when they come out because they last me all year round because all I generally drink with the coffees is the... Their speciality ones like pumpkin spice, gingerbread. We are keeping an eye on the Espresso website to hope more of them come out because it's oh, so good. Coffee made. Let's do some crafting. Right, I've got a few bits of craft stuff that I've picked up that I can do. Um, so, most of it's come from Hobbycraft, um, which is one of my favourite shops. And if you are into your crafting, you'll probably know Hobbycraft very well. Um, so, I've got some Christmas sun catchers. And I just picked these up. I think they're only like £1.50 or £2 each. They're like really good for kids. And as we know, I am a big kid. So we've got Christmas uh, animals. So this one is a Christmas giraffe. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. But yeah, it comes with like the sun catcher and then it comes with the paints to do it with. I think it's a zebra. It looks like a zebra to me. But yeah, there's that one. Um, we've got a Christmas giraffe um, and then we've got a Christmas sloth. Now sloths and giraffes are my favourite animals so obviously had to get those. 
I don't know how good they'll be. I have these sun catcher things I've tried to do before and they don't come out very well, but uh, we might do that one today. Or we've got this, which is a sew your own gingerbread garland. Um, again, I think it was about four pounds for this and it comes with everything you need to, to make your own little gingerbread garland. So might start that one today. I've also, for the past couple of weeks, been trying to knit a snowman. Uh, I'm not the best at knitting. To be honest, this was the first time I'd done any knitting in about four years, and it's taking me a while. Uh, it doesn't help that I do have arthritis in my hands, uh, very early onset arthritis. So I can only knit for short periods of time before my hands start cramping up and really hurting. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Um, I might, I've done a few bits of that, I'm trying to make two because I'm trying to make them as like little kind of Christmas gifts for nieces. Um, I've got some bits of it done, um, I've still got quite a few bits to do on it, so I don't know. I might just do some knitting and try and get those finished off. I don't know, we'll do something, we're going to do something. These are the bits I've already done, so I've got two, these are the bodies, so I've got two bodies. Uh, I've got one scarf, as you can see I'm not the neatest knitter. Uh, and then I've got two, these are the snowman's noses that I've done. So I've got two heads to do, another scarf and two hats. Um, so yeah, I, I am struggling with the knitted, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I've been doing these for weeks, not all like all day every day, but I do a little bit, try and do a little bit every day. But then as soon as I make a mistake, I'm not too sure how to fix it. So I just pull it all off and have to start again. But yeah, let's, uh, let's do a bit of knitting, eh? a head for a snowman so we're getting there slowly um that took me a while and uh, i'm gonna have to stop now because my hands are actually starting to really hurt so but there we go we've made a little snowman's head um i will put a link if i can find the link to this um pattern just in case if anyone is a knitter and wants to try and make a snowman and i will keep you updated over the next few days or weeks or probably next vlogmas in 2022 as to how my snowman is coming along hopefully we will get them done before christmas so i'm gonna make a start on my christmas garland as well um i'm not sure how far i'll get because my hands are quite sore so they're aching so i'm just gonna show you what comes in this set if i can get my cat off the table excuse me always fun trying to do crafts when you've got cats <laughs> so in this set we have some cut out hearts and some cut out gingerbread men then we've got thread and needles and looks like things to do bows with and then we have some kind of stuffing toy filling stuff all right let's see what we've got to do here so it comes with instructions so uh yeah let's see if we can make a start on this one I'm not sure if that's a gingerbread man or a voodoo doll. <laughs> that's not great, is it? I mean, I'm definitely more of a baker than I am a crafter. But there we go. That is a uh, one gingerbread man. And that's taken me ages to do that one. So again, work in progress, I think. Um, but the time is getting on. And I'm going to head out to Chandidno to see if this Christmas train thing is happening. I've no idea really what it is, like I've said. Um, if it happens, because the weather is pretty, pretty rubbish at the minute. Uh, so I'm just gonna take my GoPro out this afternoon because this camera is rubbish in the wet. And we'll see if I see anything. If not, it's just gonna be another little mooch round Chandidno. So I've come down to Chandidno, the weather is awful so i'm not sure if this christmas parade's even gonna happen because uh, it's raining although there is a bit of sun trying to come out along the coast but i don't know it's raining it's windy it's pretty miserable <laughs> but i really hope it does happen because i want to see a parade i can't be in disneyland paris for christmas like so many of my friends 
very jealous. Disneyland Paris at Christmas is one of the best places to be in the world. I would even say for me, I prefer Disneyland Paris at Christmas than I do Walt Disney World. Controversial, I know, but I don't think there's a prettier park in the world than Disneyland Paris and I miss it and I love it and I wish I was there to watch their parades, but it's not happening <laughs> this year. So let's hope that this parade happens and we can see what a candid no Christmas parade is like. I was probably getting very wet. Yay! I am home from uh, the Christmas parade in Canada. No, you will have seen a very, very, very small bit of it because my GoPro corrupted the file um, <laughs> of the parade. So I don't quite know what's happened, how that's happened. This is just what happens, I guess, with technology every now and then. I'm a little bit gutted because it was actually a really nice parade. So after the bit that you saw, there was like some uh, kids that came along and did some little performances and some dances. There were also some unlicensed characters. So there was an Anna and an Elsa and uh, uh, Rapunzel and Kristoff. Yeah, unlicensed princesses. And Belle, she was there too. And uh, there was Spider-Man and Captain Marvel and the Grinch. <laughs> So yeah, it was just like being in a Disney parade. <laughs> if Disney parades were put on in the wet, in the end, I know. But anyway, I'm really sorry I can't show it to you. I'm absolutely devastated. Um, I will try my best to fix it. And um, if I do fix it, I will put it into a Vlogmas further down the road. I'm not very technologically savvy, if that's even the correct way to say that. But I will try my best to get it fixed. If I can't, that's that. It's done. There's nothing I can do about it. But yeah, sorry about that. Uh, but thank you very much for watching this vlog. So I'm going to end it on this absolute disaster. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Hopefully nothing goes wrong tomorrow. Have a magical day. Bye.